All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Trenton, and I'll be hosting today's Creating Your First Mobile Forms webinar. If at any point during the webinar today you have any questions at all, go ahead and enter them into the chat box there on the right-hand side. We'll be sure to answer them at the end of the presentation today. So let's jump right in. So today we'll be walking through how to get started with the GoForms platform, and here's everything we'll be covering. We're going to start with the benefits of mobile forms and digital data capture, how to actually upload your paper forms into our system, how to take that paper form and make it a digital dynamic form in the GoForms template editor, the types of fields you can add to your template and how they can be customized to fit your business's workflow, how to configure your forms list view and add basic automatic form tasks, an overview of the GoForms application itself and how to actually fill out and complete your now digital form. As well as we'll take a quick review of additional GoForms features your team can leverage to take full advantage of that captured data, including reports and integrations. And then finally, we'll wrap today up with a quick Q&A. So let's get started. So paper forms and manual data capture result in a variety of problems, from ineligible handwriting and damaged forms to processing delays and costly inaccuracies. So relying on these paper forms to capture critical information is challenging, frustrating, and detrimental for your team. With GoForms, you can remove each of these obstacles and significantly improve the quality of your captured data. And it all starts with these mobile forms. And they can be filled out on phones, tablet, and even your laptops. So before we dive into digitizing the forms themselves, let's discuss the main benefits of using mobile forms rather than those traditional paper forms to capture data while you're out in the field. So mobile forms increase professionalism and improve communication across your organization. They also result in more accurate thorough data and consequently more useful business insights. You can also expedite the access of this captured data via real-time data and automatic form routing. And you can allow for the collection of new data types that weren't available previously, like images, sketches, maps, GPS coordinates, and so much more. These forms can also be utilized anywhere, anytime, and even offline. What makes GoForms so powerful is the ability to digitize your existing paper forms for use on digital devices. This drastically simplifies onboarding for your team by allowing users to work within an interface they recognize with all the advantages of going digital. So let's get started by digitizing your first mobile form. So I'm going to hop over to actually my web browser here, and I actually am going to go to my dashboard. So to get started, we're going to first log in, which I've already done, and then this is our home page here. So we'll start on uploading our own form by clicking this little button here on the right hand side. A pop up window will appear and we're actually going to be prompted to upload a JPEG or a PDF to my account. For this example, I'm going to select a work order that I've actually already saved on my desktop here. So once I open this up, it's going to load and make a copy actually in my database. And then once I get a green check mark and name this something unique, so I'm going to say this is the webinar work order number three. I'm going to create this. And then now I'm actually going to get dropped into my template editor. So our newly digital form will upload into this template editor and you'll see the form flanked by two different sections. Our available template fields on the left hand side and on the right hand side is the property section. The template field sections displays that each of the available fields we can drag onto your uploaded form. This includes text fields, number fields, drop down menus, images, GPS, signatures and so many more. So let's start by dragging a couple text fields onto our now work orders form name field. And I can actually size it to actually fit the specific area just by hovering over those perforated lines and dragging it over here to the right hand side. So let's not waste any time and I'm gonna hop over to one that I've actually already built out in this other tab here. So we can kind of get to the good stuff. So, now that we've actually added our fields to this forms, we can start to customize them to help guide our data capture and create a more intuitive experience for our guys out in the field. 
So let's scroll down here and actually select our signature field here on the right hand side. So you can see as I make this selection, all of these properties on the right hand side now appear. So I'm going to name this field the approver signature, delete this little hash mark there on the right hand side. And if I scroll down here to the bottom, I can actually now make this field required here. And so this essentially makes my technician out in the field, requires them to actually fill out the signature field as they're out in the field. So this form won't be able to send back into the office until these fields are filled out. So this can be applied to just about any field on your forms and really helps reinforce the capture of critical data as your team's out there. This functionality can be also made dynamic. For example, the signature field can be configured to only be required if a user inputs specific data or selects a specific checkbox. Pretty cool, huh? So a few other modifications you can make in the property section include making a field visible or hidden based on entered data, pre-populating corresponding fields with fields database information, entered or selected data in the back end. You can also add instant calculation functionalities to total fields and much more, and changing the background color of a field based on form data in another sale. So now that we've configured a couple of the field properties within our signature field, let's hop over to our list view. And our list view is actually going to be a small screen optimized at like viewing mode of your mobile form. You can easily toggle between your traditional form view and list view from this menu bar here on the left hand side and in the go forms app. So this view makes it easy to fill out your forms on any type of device your team may be using. So configuring your list view is also a very simple process. I can just tap on this list view icon here and by adding a tab by clicking on this button right here, I can then create a section and coming to the template fields, these are all of the fields that we've actually just dragged onto our form view that I just showed you. So by just easily clicking and dragging to this section, I can easily start including those. So since we're kind of in a pinch here, I'm also going to use this auto build feature that actually references all of the fields that I actually have on my form based on the specific pages that I actually have available. So once we can organize all of these different tabs and sections to give your user a more intuitive data entry experience, let's hop over to our form view again, and we'll give the original view of this document. So now that we've built out our form view and our list view, let's jump over to show you how we can add some basic automatic form actions. And by selecting the Manage Events button on the upper right-hand side corner of the template editor, we can easily load and access our Manage Events window. And so I'm just going to say I want to leave there. Here we can enable certain actions to automatically occur based on specific triggers in my account. For this example, let's imagine our technician needs a copy of this completed form to be automatically emailed to their customer. We can make this happen by adding a trigger here and dictating for that when anybody completes a form, I can actually reference the customer emails that we actually added to this template here. So by using square brackets, I can type in the customer's email. And now what you're essentially telling the GoForm system is that, hey, whenever I capture a customer signature field uh, on my form, I wanna send them an automatic email and I can include this work order actually as a PDF by checking that box there on the bottom. Also, you can include a little edit of maybe the information that you're capturing on the work order in this rich text editor here. And this will be automatically emailed out to the customer. So we need to backtrack on any work that your team is doing. And this is really just one example of how to manage events windows can help your team work more efficiently. You can also automatically add tags, transfer form drafts, and upload them to Box and so many more. With GoForms' workflow available at an advanced tier or higher, you can further streamline your form's delivery and processing by instantly routing forms and documents to key collaborators, reports, and integrated applications. But we'll get all to that good stuff later today. So, all right, now that we actually configured our mobile form template, let's click Save and head over to our GoForms app to fill out actually our first mobile form. So I've already logged into my GoForms app here, and you can see 
this is going to be the kind of start page that your team will see. So we'll get to know each tab in this menu bar and walk through each step here. So in the new tab, you can see that all of the recent templates that I've actually used are flanked here on the top hand side. And then actually all of the folders that I've created for my account are down here as well as my ungrouped templates down here at the bottom. In the recent tab, we can see all of our recently used templates as well as our recently completed forms. All of our completed forms are gonna be flanked by that green check mark there on the left hand side, as well as our forms that are still in draft follow there on the bottom. We can also see our collection of progress forms in our forms tab. So by clicking on the forms tab here, I will see all of the forms that I've ever submitted in this tab. And then I can also filter by the drafts and also the completed. And even if I'm in a specific group, I can see the forms that are shared to my group and actually take ownership of a specific form. So finally, in the settings tab, this is where we can sync our app to the GoForms account, ensuring we have the most up-to-date version of all of the data on the back end. And here we can also modify our account details and log out of my GoForms account. All right, let's move on to start filling out our recently digitized form. So I'm gonna go back to new, scroll up here to the top and actually select the work order. So for this webinar, we're gonna utilize actually my keyboard. So by tapping on a field, I can easily include information or I can also use a little microphone down there on the bottom left-hand side and use my speech to text functionality to further streamline the data that you're collecting. Another awesome efficiency feature that you can utilize is the auto population using the database running actually in the background of this form. So by clicking on the company's name, I've actually preloaded customers that we've worked with and based on a specific selection that I make, I can have the contact name, address, city, state, and email address all get filled in for me. That's pretty cool stuff, huh? All right, so moving on. Next, we're gonna utilize the tables to quickly complete form line items. By including automatic calculations within our form templates, you can instantly and accurately calculate totals, meaning no more manual math for your team out in the field. So this is gonna be an example of a drop-down list that I have and being able to sp specifically select a services that we can provide and your technician can dictate the number of hours that are provided and also the rate. Then you can see down here in the total, it's gonna to bring down this for me right there. A little bit different in the material section, here you can actually have a price associated with it based on a specific selection. And maybe I wanna include a five for the quantity for again, to show you visually that the math is done automatically for you. So with the image fields, we can also utilize the device's native camera to capture project images and easily highlight key details. For an example, I'm just gonna upload an image actually from right outside of our office uh, where we're doing this demonstration today. And so I can include that here. And then by clicking on the box, the little pencil feature we can also include, maybe we want to point out a specific problem. Maybe we want to highlight things with the marker here. And then as soon as I hit done, this image is then saved to my form and will be saved and processed and sent over to the necessary people. So really before we move on to actually back to the PowerPoint, I want to show you what our list view looks like. So you can easily see on the bottom left hand side of this screen, it's going to give me a more app like index of all of the fields that we just captured on our form view. So it's, you can easily toggle between the one or the other. It's really whatever your user wants to feel familiar with and comfortable using. That's what we're here for. So let's jump back to the form view. And I'm actually just going to put in some data like the date field. Of course, it's the 29th today of October. And I'm gonna give you guys my lovely signature there. And then here, I'm actually gonna say that John is my customer. He's gonna sign off for me. Again, he's gonna sign off for me today. But before I complete this, it's gonna show me a little window here by clicking on the uh, complete button that I actually need the approver signature. So this form can't be sent out to my team or to the customer without getting that approver signature. So again, it's a way to reinforce the way that this data is collected each and every time. So I'm gonna go in here and say, this is John's signature today. And then once I hit complete, all of this information is saved onto this PDF and now it's sent back into my account 
and sent off to the customer's email that we've actually captured right there at coolcars underscore intuit.com. Okay, now that we've mastered the GoForms app, let's check out how we can make our mobile forms and digital workflows even better. So using GoForms' workflow, common events like form completion can trigger actions like automatic emails or uploading completed forms and captured images to connect with cloud applications and so much more. You can also use GoForms' workflows to schedule reports across multiple mobile form templates. This means that you can schedule a report to instantly be delivered to your inbox or connected apps, including data from multiple work orders that your team may have and so much more. Your mobile forms and GoForms account can easily be integrated together with your other business applications like Box, Salesforce, Smartsheet, Google Drive, Procore, PlanGrid, BIM360, and so many more. By connecting your account to your other critical platforms, completed forms and collected data can be easily and instantly uploaded to your other systems of record, and data can be even pushed back into GoForms as mobile forms. For example, your forms can be instantly dispatched to field teams pre-filled with Procore's data. So, all right, you know, that's gonna be it for me today, folks, but I'd like to open up this time to a uh, Q&A and answer some of the questions that we've actually got throughout the presentation today. All right, so it looks like we have a couple questions today. Uh, it looks like we have one from Mike and he asks, can you demonstrate how to link a customer's database for use? Um, you know, that's a great question, Mike. Uh, what we would do is actually upload a CSV file of your customer database into the background of the form. Um, this is definitely something that you and I can work together with because it is gonna be a little bit more of a customized build for you. But I'll give you my personal information right after this call and then I'll help you walk you through that process. Uh, looks like we have a, another one from Alex. Uh, how do these forms work in locations with no connectivity? You know, that's a great question, Alex. Thank you. Uh, GoForms is some of the biggest wins is the ability to work in an offline capacity. So no matter if you don't have cell service or Wi-Fi, you can still capture the data on these GoForms mobile forms. And then they'll be put into a queue so that when you do get hooked up back into, you know, range, all of this information will then be synced with your account and the customers will receive the data that they maybe have on their forms. So um, we do have another question, looks like from Trevor. Um, Trevor asked, does GoForms provide any support for template building? You know, that's an awesome question, Trevor. Yes, we actually have a dedicated team, uh, our support team that can help with any questions, whether it be database, public forms, or even template questions to get those calculations up and running. But also we do have a dedicated professional services team that can jump on a call with you, learn what your workflows look like, and actually build out their template for you. So we can always schedule a call later after this to walk through any questions that you may have. And then it looks like the last question comes from Dan, and Dan asked, can this data be exported out as a CSV file? And you know, that's another great question, Dan, thank you. Uh, GoForms' data can be easily exported out as a CSV file, and this can even be enabled to automatically run maybe every day, every Friday, or maybe every month as you need it. So we can always, again, walk through that at a later time as well. But if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself directly at tpolanco at goforms.com. My direct office line is 858-926-7686. And I really wanted to thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, if you have any questions, we have a ton of excellent getting started resources and customer use cases on our website. So don't hesitate to reach out to goforms.com. Um, but I'll be emailing each one of you a recording of today's webinar. So please keep an eye out for that. But thank you so much for joining us today and you have a great Tuesday. Cheers.